Hi everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel SRIP Edu Pharma. We are going to discuss today about preservatives which are used as additives for various dosage forms. In this video, we will be discussing what are preservatives, the mechanism of action, various type of classifications of preservatives, as well as the applications of preservatives in different type of dosage forms. So first of all, we will be discussing what are preservatives or how can the preservatives be defined. So preservatives are the substances that are added to pharmaceutical products to prevent any kind of physical, chemical or biological changes. Here we can see that preservatives could be natural or chemical. So preservatives are not only used in pharmaceuticals, but they are also used in food products. And what do they do? They prevent all type of physical, chemical, as well as biological changes in the dosage forms, as well as in the pharmaceuticals. What more do we know about the preservative? preservatives? We can, uh, the ideal preservative should be effective at low concentrations against all possible microorganisms. That is, they should have broad spectrum, they should be non-toxic and compatible with the, all other constituents of the dosage form or preparation. And the most important, it should be stable for the shelf life of the preparation. Now we'll be seeing what are the ideal properties for preservatives. So when we see the properties for preservatives, then as we have already discussed, they should be non-irritant, non-toxic, physically and chemically stable, compatible. They should have broad spectrum. They should be potent and they should destroy the microorganisms throughout their life. That is, they should be active throughout shelf life. Now we will be seeing what is the mechanism of action of these preservatives. Basically, they act in three different ways. First is they act as antioxidants. So these antioxidants, they are self-reducing agents. That is, they oxidize themselves and prevent oxidation of components that are specially sensitive to oxygen. So they prevent the deterioration from basically two main factors. First is oxygen and second is sunlight. Then second comes uh, the mechanism uh, in which the preservative, they act as antimicrobial agents. These agents act against microorganisms by affecting the various cellular portions of microbial cell like cell wall, cytoplasmic membrane and cytoplasm. And by inhibiting the growth of the microorganisms, they act. That is why they are called as antimicrobial agents. Important examples are phenols, parabens, aryl and alkyl acids. Then third is when the preservatives, they act as chelating agents. So the ligand molecule binds through donor groups and makes a ring, uh, thus forming a complex with the pharmaceutical ingredient and thereby it protects it from deterioration. We know very important example is EDTA. So now we'll be seeing the classification of preservatives based on mechanism of action. First, as we have already discussed, they act as antioxidants. Now under antioxidants, we categorize them as first is true antioxidants. Here example is BHA that is butylated hydroxyl anisole and BHT which is butylated hydroxyl toluene. Here we have to remember that sometimes the full form of BHA and BHT is also asked in multiple choice questions. Second is when they act as reducing agents. Here example is vitamin C, which is also named as ascorbic acid, then thiourea, sodium metabisulfite, then as antioxidant synergists, example is sodium editate, which is chelating agent also. Then others, it, exam, other examples are vitamin E and propyl gallate. Second category, as we have already seen, is antimicrobial agents. So examples are phenols, parabenes, benzoates, aryl and alkyl acids. Third is chelating agents, example EDT and citric acid. Now we'll be seeing the classification based on source. Source could be natural or artificial or synthetic. The natural preservatives are also known as 
traditional preservatives because they were traditionally used example is neem oil lemon salt honey these are the preservatives which are obtained from natural source then second is artificial or synthetic preservatives here all the other examples that we have already seen will be coming under this category that is benzoates uh, sorbates propionates nitrites etc now we will be seeing the classification of preservatives based on chemical nature so first is alkyl or aryl alcohol example chlorobutanol benzyl alcohol so alkyl or aryl alcohol means so chlorobutanol In chlorobutanol uh, the it is example of alkyl alcohol and benzyl alcohol is example of aryl alcohol second is organic mercurials in these compounds there are merc the mercury is present example phenyl mercuric nitrate and thiomersal then amino aryl acid esters these are very commonly used preservatives these are categories of parabenes that is methyl ethyl butyl propyl parabene then phenols phenols means c6h5oh so phenol metacresol chloropresol these are the examples then comes aryl or alkyl acids here example is benzoic acid sorbic acid then comes diols example is bromopol or propylene glycol next comes quaternary ammonium compounds the examples are benzalkonium chloride benzethonium chloride these are very commonly used in parenterals now we will be seeing the applications of preservatives in various type of dosage forms like in oral liquids parenterals ophthalmic or nasal preparations or in semi solid dosage forms like ointments and creams here we are also seeing the concentration of the preparations first category is amino aryl acid esters in this comes the all the type of parabenes so generally what we see is uh, the percentage is very less for the preservatives you can see here the percentage like methyl paraben in oral liquid it is used in 0.25% in parenterals it is used in 0.01 to 0.5% in ophthalmic or nasal preparations it is used in 0.1% and in ointments and creams it is used in 0.001 to 0.2% generally the concentration of any preservative shows the potency of that preservative or potency of that active constituent next comes alkyl or aryl alcohols example is benzyl alcohol chlorobutanol you can see here the quantity is a bit higher it means that they are less potent than amino aryl acid esters next comes phenols then organic mercurials here you can see organic mercurials are used in very less quantity it means that they are very potent anti important preservatives next are diols diols are generally used in oral liquids they are not used in parenterals or ophthalmic nasal or ointment and creams then next comes quaternary ammonium compounds these are also used in very less quantity it means that they are also very potent preservatives so this was the overall overview of preservatives we have taken it separately because many times a short note comes on preservatives and various questions or multiple choice questions are uh, are generally come in the exams related to the preservatives so thanks keep watching stay safe be positive and solve mcqs in the next video that we are going to upload just after this video so thank you so much